the Milky Way just revealed something astronomers didn't expect. A hidden population of faint, ring-shaped structures that can only be seen through powerful radio telescopes. These aren't distant galaxies or background noise. They're real features inside our own galaxy, uncovered by Meerkat in South Africa. Some are tied to dying stars. Others remain unexplained, hinting at astrophysical processes we haven't fully understood. In this video, we'll explore how astronomers discovered these mysterious rings, what they might represent, and why they could reshape our view of the Milky Way. Let's get started. The story begins with Meerkat, a network of 64 radio antennas operating at 1.3 gigahertz. During a survey of the galactic plane, it picked up 164 compact ring-shaped radio sources that had escaped detection in optical and infrared surveys. Why hadn't we seen them before? Interstellar dust blocks visible and in infrared light, but radio waves pass through it, revealing structures hidden deep inside the galaxy. Each ring is less than one arc minute across, but collectively, they display remarkable variety. About 40% contain an infrared point source at their center. Around 50% show extended mid or far infrared emission. Some exist only in radio with no multi-wavelength counterpart. Nearly 20% have a central radio point source, hinting at stellar activity or remnants inside. Many fit known categories such as planetary nebulae or shells from past stellar eruptions, but others remain unclassified, standing out for their lack of detectable emission at any other wavelength. A number of these features resemble odd radio circles, ring-like radio structures previously found around distant galaxies. Their presence inside our galaxy suggests that multiple physical mechanisms may produce similar shapes. Meerkat's sensitivity and resolution were the turning point. Previous surveys lacked the power to detect such faint, compact structures. By mapping these hidden objects, astronomers have uncovered a previously unseen layer of galactic structure, one that could reshape how we understand stellar evolution and the interstellar medium. The newly detected rings represent more than an observational curiosity. They offer a fresh way to study how stars evolve and how their life cycles affect their surroundings. One major hypothesis involves planetary nebulae. As sun-like stars die, they shed their outer layers, forming shells of gas and dust that emit faintly in the radio spectrum. Several rings share the characteristics expected of these objects. Another explanation points to novae and supernova remnants. Explosive outbursts can produce roughly circular shock fronts that persist for thousands of years. Some of the newly detected rings likely fall into this category. A third scenario involves massive stars, such as wolf rayet stars or luminous blue variables. Their intense stellar winds can sculpt circular shells, sometimes well before the star reaches the end of its life. These shells often emit in both infrared and radio frequencies, matching the properties of many of the observed rings. But not all cases fit neatly into existing models. Rings lacking infrared or optical signatures could point to more exotic origins. Gravitational lensing, bending light from distant background sources, galactic analogs of ORCS, possibly linked to shock fronts or energetic outflows, interactions involving magnetic fields or turbulent gas, creating ring-like structures without a single dominant source. What makes this discovery important is the scale of the population. These rings fill an observational gap between bright, well-known remnants and structures that were previously too faint to detect. Their presence implies that late-stage stellar activity and its impact on the galactic environment may be far more common than earlier estimates suggested. Beyond stellar evolution, mapping these rings also provides data on the structure of the interstellar medium. Shells and shocks can compress or heat surrounding gas, influencing how the galaxy recycles material and where new stars form.
This discovery has wide implications for how astronomers study the Milky Way. For years, our view of the galaxy has been shaped by optical and infrared observations. Now, radio astronomy is revealing structures those methods simply can't see. First, these rings increase the known count of stellar remnants and shells. Finding more than 160 in one survey suggests thousands may be scattered throughout the galaxy. This affects how we model the number and frequency of late-stage stellar events, such as mass loss, nova eruptions, or supernovae. Second, they provide insight into feedback processes. How energy and matter from dying or evolving stars interact with the surrounding interstellar gas. Expanding shells can trigger compression, turbulence, or heating, which in turn influences star formation. Understanding how these processes work on a galactic scale is key to building more accurate models of how galaxies evolve. Third, this discovery underscores the power of next-generation radio facilities. Meerkat's capabilities allowed astronomers to detect these faint objects. But this is just the beginning. Square Kilometer Array, once operational, will survey the sky with even greater sensitivity and resolution, making it possible to map these structures across the entire galaxy. Future steps will involve multi-wavelength follow-ups to pinpoint central sources or remnants, spectral and polarization studies to determine whether the emission is thermal or non-thermal and to probe magnetic fields, time series observations to monitor expansion or structural changes, integrating data from infrared, optical, and X-ray telescopes to understand their physical environments. As more rings are identified, astronomers may develop a new classification system for radio shells in the Milky Way, distinguishing between planetary nebulae, stellar wind bubbles, remnants of explosive events, and potentially new categories altogether. Each ring represents a piece of the galaxy's history, some tell the story of a star's final breaths. Others may trace events we've never clearly observed before. Together, they give us a more complete view of how matter and energy move through the Milky Way. The hidden radio rings of the Milky Way reveal structures we've never seen before. Some will fit known stellar phenomena. Others may point to new physics. With next-generation telescopes, this hidden architecture is only beginning to unfold. <laughs>